Boeing is spicing up the space race to Mars, having announced it's currently making the world's most powerful rocket, the Space Launch System, or the SLS, which, much like a few of its rivals, is headed to Mars. Well, unlike Elon Musk's SpaceX or Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, the SLS project, which has incidentally been given $2 billion from Congress, has only one customer, NASA, and only one mission, and that's to take Americans deep into space. Well, 2018 is the test launch date, and by 2021, Boeing is set to take astronauts initially over to Mars and then eventually on to the Red Planet. So the goal is Mars, and the program will cost billions, and there are a lot of questions being asked mm -hmm. already. Uh, let's take a look, first of all, at a video from Boeing that explains a bit more about their plans. The system is the biggest, most powerful rocket uh, we've ever built. Three, two, one. The Space Launch System, or SLS, will someday take humans to Mars, if all goes according to plan and taxpayers keep willing to fund it. And when talking about where we're currently at with the structure and the welding that's in place, Jackie Nesselrode, who actually leads the team from Boeing, uh, she actually spoke to the media and she said, what you're looking at is the largest welding system in the world. And she went on to say that this is about the coolest job on earth. But the fact is, she is not the only one that has this coolest job on earth. Mm -hmm. Because as we've seen, Elon Musk is doing very well now with his SpaceX program and Jeff Bezos with Blue Origin. So a lot of questions are asked as to why NASA is going solo. A, have, yes, going solo and not just teaming up with the likes of Elon Musk, who's planning his mission to Mars. I, I think that the U.S. government, so they're very much involved in a space race. Uh, granted, uh, this isn't against Russia any longer, but there is there is, um, you know, some merit to wanting to be the first to land on Mars. This mission, though, the MTV, the Mars Transfer Vehicle, um, I was reading an article over it, and it said that um, that it's constructed here on Earth, it does a lunar surface mission, and then an aspect of it is assembled in space. So perhaps that's how they're, they're pulling this off. One caveat to this, Joe, it's only a one-way trip, so who would do this? Right, <laughs> only a one-way trip, and the rockets aren't going to be reusable, which is one of the key aims of Elon Musk's mission to Mars. So definitely there's some controversy around Boeing and around all this money from Congress going into this, uh, but as Paul Wright from Boeing had to say, there's it's very much on the cards, it's very much ahead. Here's a quote from him, he said, Mars is a million times further away than the space station. It's all about discovery. There isn't a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, so to speak. So what he's saying is that it's on the cards, it's going to happen, but in terms of money, this program is going to cost billions, and it's all at this stage about discovery. One thing they're also putting a lot of money into developing new technologies for is spacesuits, because if we are going to Mars, and especially if it is one-way ticket, uh, they're going to have to redesign the spacesuits so that they'll be lighter and much more comfortable for astronauts to wear in the long term. But it just highlights the point that Americans are getting very interested in this space race. Obviously, America wants to be the first to get there. Even Hollywood movies like The Martian are definitely adding fuel to the fire. But as NASA's Tim Flores said, he said that he believes it will be his son or someone in his son's generation, which is not long away, that actually gets to land on the red planet.